Rogers. An update to an eight on your side investigation, sinkhole justice. More than a year after we exposed their deception about a sinkhole, a couple goes to court one more time for sentencing. Well, it was a full day in court, and we thought it was going to be one more time, but this couple had dozens of supporters there asking the judge for leniency. But despite all of that, there is still no sentence yet for the couple convicted of lying about that sinkhole. Eight on your side investigator Shannon Bankin joins us live now from outside of the federal courthouse in Tampa. Hi, Shannon. Hi, guys. This sentencing hearing, it felt more like a trial. There were hours of testimony and lots of arguing, and in the end, there was no decision. We tried to talk to the defendants on the way out of the courthouse, and here's how they responded. What do you guys hope to accomplish? What are you hoping is going to happen here? Do you have anything to say? Any reaction today? Glenn and Catherine. Glenn and Catherine Jason were found guilty of wire fraud in October. This followed our eight on your side investigation that exposed that they sold their Spring Hill home and lied about a sinkhole activity under the home to the home buyers. They had already collected an insurance settlement for $153,000, but they did not tell this to the new buyers. Those buyers have five young children. They moved into the house. They had to move out of the house when it cracked and their insurance company dropped drop them. Those buyers are ready for all of this to be over. So what's your reaction to what happened today? How do you think it's going so far? I don't know. It's very confusing, but we're figuring, trying to figure everything out. What are you hoping is going to happen? What do you want? I just want them to take it back and be done with all of this and not have to um, spend all the extra money all the time. The judge will reconvene this on Thursday morning at 9 o'clock. He has a big decision to make. He has to decide whether this is serious enough, whether the offense is serious enough to send this couple in their 60s to prison. This is the first case of its kind. There are a lot of other aid on your side investigations that we have broken where other people have done essentially the same thing. So there are a lot of people watching this to see what will happen. Back to you. Yeah, that might explain why it's taking so long because, as you pointed out, it is its first of a kind case. Eight on your side on top of it from the beginning. So we are anxious to see how it unfolds and what happens down the road. Thank you. Shannon Banker reporting live in Tampa tonight.